state your names for the uh, court, gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm Eric. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. Macken. Eric and Macken. Mm -hmm. Are you from the greater Los Angeles area? No. No. Where are you from? Sweden. Sweden, you oh. say? Oh. Okay, if you're from Sweden, as you claim, where's your hat with the horns on it? It's in, in customs. <laughs> All right. Who was the lead Calic? Calictor? Yeah. That's a Swedish word. It means yeah. character, yeah. Who was the reed... The reed character? I'm sorry, I'm lapsing into Swedish. <laughs> Who was the reed character in the book The Girl Who Played with Fire? <clears throat> uh, that's the girl, right? Lisbeth Salander. Lisbeth yeah. yeah. Salander is yeah. correct! Uh, yeah. 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 yeah! You have won. Sit there. You have each one as your starter gift a large size American candy bar! Yeah. here from Sweden, Eric. Uh, we're making a TV show here about like the bucket list. Yeah. So we're traveling across America and trying to do as many fun stuff as possible. Yeah. Are you eating? <laughs> and that's one of the things. Well, that's one of it. Yeah. 98 left. <laughs> so you don't get candy in Sweden. Uh, <laughs> oh. You want that one? No, I'm fine. No. I'm fine. <laughs> Do you always save yours for later? Not always. That's a kind of double entendre I did there. <laughs> it's code. You know, in American gay slang, it means, you know, are you a bottom or a top? Okay. <laughs> I eat it now, then. <laughs> so, what else have you got to do on your bucket list as you go around uh, the United States? Um, goat milking contest? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> goat milking contest? Yeah. I, I feel honored to be part of such an awesome bucket list. Yeah. 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 But it was a celebrity goat milking contest. So yeah. you goat milk a celebrity? Yeah. No. Because no. I've done that. Yeah. No, it was me. He was the holder. Yeah. And I was the... Hey! It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Sounds good. We love America. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Great, it's a great place. I but... went to the Super Bowl uh, arena over in uh, Dallas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we swim. You're a bit early for that. It's not for another week or so. Yeah, it was, we were alone there. Yeah. We were yeah, the yeah. guys there. You wait, though. A lot of people are going to turn up later. Yeah, yeah. you think? <laughs> yeah, we waited for a while. Yeah. yeah. Started milking each and other. And we swimmed with hey! manatees. Hmm? We swimmed with uh, manatees. Yeah. Wow, you're like regular Americans. Yeah. <laughs> You've milked a goat, you've swum with a manatee, and you ate candy on a crappy late night show. Yeah. Done it all. Yep. May as well go back to Sweden then. Yeah. All right. Want to. Thanks. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit progressive.com today. any dog noises or anything like that just sit down quietly when you start going woo, woo, like that 
Makes me want to throw you a bone. <laughs> Is that code? <laughs> I always worry about wearing this suit on the show. This is the one that if I go to the bathroom beforehand, I have to be very careful. <laughs> Don't wear light-colored trousers in a badly lit show. You think? Yes, I do. It's a great day for America, everybody. It's also uh, a great day for Australia. It's, uh, it's Australia Day today, isn't it? Uh, it is. So, to all our Australian viewer... Um... <laughs> Crikey dingo, mate. <laughs> That's all I got. Anyway, I... here, back here in America, did you watch the State of the Union address tonight, earlier on? I did. <laughs> It's awesome, especially when he said that thing and everyone clapped and then he said that other thing and everyone went, oh no! And then he did, and some of them were like... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, it's a big night over in Scotland as well. Where? You know where. Because tonight is Burns Night in Scotland. Every year, uh, and this night uh, is Burns Night, people drink whiskey and celebrate the poet Robert Burns. Now, I know what you're thinking. Craig, Scottish people drink whiskey? <laughs> But tonight they drink whiskey and recite poetry, which makes it classy. <laughs> Robert Burns is Scotland's favourite son. He died 200 years ago, but he's still a national icon. Do we have a picture of Burns? Yeah, that's it. Uh... Excellent. And uh, now Robert Burns, uh, the poet, of course, he liked to uh, drink. I do that because he drank big bottles of... <laughs> He drank a lot, is what I'm saying. A lot of great writers drink. Burns, Hemingway, Snooky, a lot of them drink! <laughs> uh, Robert Burns was prolific in three areas. Writing, drinking, and shagging. That's true. It's one of his poems. This is an actual poem, so look it up, censors. It's a real poem. It's called, Nine Inch Will Please a Lady. <laughs> and I'm like, really? <laughs> Only nine? <laughs> That's a real poem. Anyway, Burns Night isn't just celebrated in Scotland. Anywhere there's a Scottish population. England, America, Australia, that place where Shrek lives. <laughs> One of the hobbits in Lord of the Rings. I still don't understand that. All these years later, like all the hobbits come from one place, but one of them has a Scottish accent. Now, how can that happen? Anyway, if you don't know uh, Scotland, it's a magical land across the sea. You might not know this, but I used to live there. <laughs> do, we have, do we have a map of Scotland? There you are. Scotland there, wankers, pussies, <laughs> drunks, Catholic drunks. Catholic <laughs> drunks. That's it. Now, now, on Burns Night, uh, people usually eat haggis. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of a haggis, but I've been told by the censor that we can only show this picture once. We can't show it twice. We have to. I don't know why. I don't know what's in the mind of the censor. But we can only show this picture once. Let's have a look at the haggis. Take a long look. Keep looking. Imagine how much fun the censor is having now. Imagine the sense of thinking, oh, I should have put a time limit on this. <laughs> Keep looking at the haggis. Try to think of a man's penis as you look at the haggis. And that's enough. There. You will... Now you will be protected from your moral corruption by America's censorship. <laughs> It looks bad, the haggis on that thing, but it, think how much worse it would have looked without the decorative leaves of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking, some men too probably, if that's a haggis, then my nightstand is full of rubber haggises. Well, let me tell you. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Yes, Jeff, exactly. No, a haggis is basically, what it is, it's a sheep's intestine. Inside uh, the sheep uh, intestine is the heart, the liver, and the lungs. There's other stuff too, you know, onions, spices, phlegm, um, <laughs> bits of Jimmy Hoffa, there's stuff in there. 
It's actually, haggis is illegal in America. Yes, because of the lung. You can buy lung-free haggis, but then I'm thinking, well, what's the point? <laughs> lung-free haggis? That's like, like that dude Khloe Kardashian without his back hair. What's the point? <laughs> But apparently, yeah, that's right, I said that too. Apparently, uh, people have been smuggling haggis into America. And if they do it the same way they smuggle in the drugs, uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> although, although I'd like to apply for the job. One of uh, Robert, Burns be uh, Robert Burns' best known poems is, of course, addressed to a haggis, which begins, Fair fire your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race, aboon them all, you tack your place, page triper therm. Yes, I'm not from here originally, but... <laughs> Apparently, Burns really loved haggis. Scottish people like to write poems about stuff they love. I once wrote a poem about what I love, an ode to crack. <laughs> Thank you, Crack. I want you to know you keep people awake to watch this show. CBS Crack. <laughs> now, what they, thank you. Take that, Robert Burns. They, uh, on Burns night, people in Scotland pour whiskey over the haggis and then stab it, because in Scotland that's foreplay. And... <laughs> Robert Burns also wrote the poem, uh, Old Lang Sang. You know the one that people sing at New Year's, nobody knows the words. Should all acquaintance be forgot? <laughs> time. He was only 37 when he died, Robert Burns, following a dental extraction. That's why no Scottish person has been to the dentist since. <laughs> It's sad to think that he died in poverty. His family discovered his writings, and then they realized they were sitting on a gold mine. It's the same feeling just experienced by Oprah's half-sister. <laughs> I guess Robert Burns was the personification of live fast, die young. The alternative to that, of course, is live fast and don't die. And then you end up bruised and wrinkly and dancing like a <laughs> monkey for cheap laughs alongside a gay robot. <laughs> You get to show. Awkward. Yeah, awkward is right. And you get to show a picture of a haggis, but only once, because the censor can't get the image of a out of her head. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. We'll take a break while I'm fired. the newspapers that are saying this is the show that's almost like a celebrity Swedish goat milking contest. <laughs> Time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Time to pull out your tweeter, Mr. F. <laughs> is that code? Oh, oh. Play the jingle. Twitter, Twitter. Tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, flug and rev, face coat, twist, so as no, checks and tweets, 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 and also emails. We don't want to smudge our makeup now, no, do we? No, let's smudge our makeup. No, makeup smudge. Oh. Chris, my friend, it sometimes turns up unexpectedly whenever you've got some gig to plug. Yes, Why? Yes. I'm doing the emails. I can't be talking to you. I know. It's fine. Perhaps I'm, you could I'm, help me. I'm bummed out today anyway. Why? The Oscar nominations came out, and I'm not nominated for anything again. Are you in a movie? No. No. That's going to work against you. I got one. Yeah, yes, you did. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah, thanks. That's very yeah, awesome. Yeah, I got... 
Listen to this. This year, right? Yes. How to Train Your Dragon, I'm in that movie, got yes. an Oscar nomination. Yes. I got a Grammy nomination for my audiobook of my book, right? Yep. And I got I won the Peabody Award. Yeah. Right? That's all in a 12 month period. When do I get a Rocky Dingo? Ban! <laughs> That's a fair. That seems like a fair. It's fair. That's a choice. Of, we're talking about an Oscar, a Grammy, and a Peabody Award. Yeah. The I... only thing that would ruin that is an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I won, a, I won a chess trophy, but that's about it. I didn't that's get anything good. Chess else. trophy's good. That's really nice. I like your red shoes as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Listen, I'm glad we're comfortable that two men can come on, smudge makeup on their faces, and compliment each other's shoes. That's a very good place to be with another dude. Care to smuggle a haggis later? I didn't... <laughs> no, but I mistakenly tried to milk Secretariat backstage. No. Oh, that was very no, awkward. No, no. <laughs> no, you need to be a celebrity to do that. Uh, uh, it's not go well. Uh, maybe a sweet. You ever been to Sweden? No. Oh, it's awesome. It was like I was just he there, though, with the two guys yeah, right two there. Two guys from Sweden, but they, the Sweden is a fantastic place. It's a nice place, oh, right? Right. Yeah. The, all their O's have little lines in them, and they all talk a lot awesome like that. No, you're thinking that's that's robot land you just described. What's the we difference? We talk like ba land, ba ba land. Robot land. Plays dead delight in our meatballs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm doing the emails. I don't have time. What gig okay, are you playing? Yeah, by the way. Oh, I'm performing at uh, San Francisco Sketch Fest this weekend. All I weekend knew. long in San Francisco. Hooray! Yeah, no right. people. All right. No, you don't have to. If you don't know what it is, you don't have to. Tell That's you fine. what, they they smuggle a haggis up there from time to time, don't they, San Francisco? <laughs> yes. I think I think there are whole clubs devoted yeah. to such activities. <laughs> We're going to go out to the old haggis smuggler no, tonight? No, don't start. I'm yeah, not. I might, actually, yeah. Okay. All right, this is from Jason in Newcastle in Australia. Hey, it's Australia! It's Happy Australia Australia Day! Free high five! Yes! All right. I'm still in it. Oh, okay. All right. Um, the, uh, have you ever been to Australia? Yeah, I've been to Australia a few times. <laughs> and also Pakistan, by your accent, Yeah, that's right. They're right next to each other. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be here. Good day. <laughs> Shrimp on the barbie, why don't you? That is not a knife. That is a knife. That's right. Oh, crikey, a dingo stole my baby. You know, it is, it is such a gift when you can be racist to two cultures at once. Uh, right. We're trying to... All right, uh, Jason in Newcastle, Australia says, Good day, Craig. I've been working for my father's company for years, but I've been offered another job. How do I break the news to him? Well, you're an expert on this kind of thing, aren't you? Oh, yes. Well, my father was a professional bowler, and right. I did not go into the family didn't business. Go into bowling, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the key is you just have to be like, I'm going to run out for cigarettes, I'll be right back. And then you just never show up again. I think that's what you got to do. Wise advice. <laughs> CBS cares. Do that thing, CBS cares. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, if you have a problem that you can't tell your parents, go out for cigarettes and never come back. CBS cares. <laughs> that's what you got to do. All right. This is from Lawrence and Carmel uh, in New York. I didn't know there was one in New York. Anyways, dear Craig, as a fellow puppet enthusiast, how do I convince my wife that everything is better with hand puppets? Oh! Oh! Uh. Well, you, the thing is to do is get yourself, uh, you know, some kind of friendly haggis type puppet. <laughs> I have a very dirty answer for that one that I can't say. Really? Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, whisper it to me and I'll see if you can say it. <laughs> nah, you probably shouldn't say that. Okay, I won't say that. I didn't, you didn't hear that, did you? Uh, also, that, that's actually anatomically impossible anyway. Yeah. <laughs> No, you can just make a no, mistake. No, 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 no. You don't have to say that it's for a puppy. You can just be like, I can't find my keys. And then, uh... <laughs> Well. So, you're off to San Francisco this weekend, then. <laughs> you little <laughs> haggis smuggler that you are. Oh, I'm going to smuggle so much haggis while I'm up there. Yeah, good for you. Um, we're out of time. We're completely out of time? Yeah, yeah, you got to go. Should we hug it out? No. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, E.T. goodbye.
is in the Hallmark Hall of Fame movie, The Lost Valentine, which is this Sunday on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Look at you. Thank you. You, you look spectacular. Thank I haven't so seen much. you in an age. You Thank look you. great. I want it to be sparkly for you. Well, guys. you're sparkly, all right. You look adorable. <laughs> and may I say, you smell fantastic. Thank you. Uh, it's something that you're doing different because when yes. you were here before, not that you smell badly when you were here before. Yeah, good way to start. I, I showered for you today, so that's good. No, it's more than that. That's more than soap. There's some kind of, do you have your own fragrance on the market now? I don't. You should. I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, because, like, Paris Hilton and all these girls have it, and you're like, why do you want to smell like them? Smell like you, exactly. lovely. Exactly. Thank you very much. Not that I'm casting aspersions on the smell of Paris. She's <laughs> been here. And, yeah. Hey, the... Uh, <laughs> this, wow. Man, look at your ass in the back of this thing Thank right here. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good right there. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. That's not the same Thank as the you. thing we just looked at. No, though. no, that's where I play a hooker. Oh, uh, <laughs> I should probably hang on to this one for a while. Hey. You play a hooker in the movie? I do, you? yeah. I play a mom who, who turns um, to prostitution ah. to feed her family. Right. Comedy. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then you but do the Betty other one. Betty White is not in Betty that White, movie. No, no she's, she's in The Lost Valentine, which now is just a nice sweet movie. Now, what happens in The Lost Valentine? Movie. Does someone lose their Valentine? Because I don't know if I could take that. <laughs> it's a very sad movie, but really? it's very. She's amazing, but it's um, it's a story about a woman who basically for over 20 years has been waiting for her soldier husband to come back, and she waits for him at a train station every single Valentine's Day. Ah. And I play a reporter who gets um, put on that story, and I sort of fall in love with Betty White, and then I end up falling in love with her grandson and we sort of repeat their love story oh, modern day so that's that, it's you sweet. don't give away the ending oh <laughs> and then there's this then huge stop, explosion and, and i won't tell happens. you anymore yeah, no, no, that's good. No. but betty's here betty's here tomorrow isn't she yes. yeah i love betty she's been she's here. amazing oh, yeah i do like her I she's saucy her. though she is saucy yeah yeah she's the first day when naughty. we were in the trailer she didn't say anything to me for like the first few minutes and she sort of walked in she sat in a chair and then just like looking dead straight ahead she goes so What's it like not to be the pretty one in the trailer anymore? Whoa! Yeah. I loved it. That's, I loved it. That's exactly what she said to me is when it? I first met her. Yeah. So weird. It must be her thing. It is um, her thing. <laughs> no, she's, she's, awesome. she's a she's very nice woman. Yeah. Also smells delightful. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. She does. Yeah, is that where you got your idea for the... Betty gave me some of her perfume, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. No. No, I just randomly found this one today in my bathroom, and I'm it's, glad you like it. It's really nice. I mean, I'm going to make it my 211 cent. 211? Two, two 2011. Oh, 2011, yes. 211, you know what I mean. I, it's that kind of perfume. You're sitting right there, you get the sparkly dress on, you smell like you do, you look like you do. I'm kind of like, what your year cup? is it? I love this will you, cup. Will you, yeah, go ahead. Fondle it. No, away, I just right? want to hold it. <laughs> I'm holding a snake. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you do you have a snake? No, I know. You should. Do you have any pets? I have dogs. Hmm. Yeah. Would you? You want me to get a snake? I'd like you to get a snake. Okay. Okay. Big long snake. <laughs> Bit of dancing with it, bit of uh, <laughs> dancing around with a big snake, like Sam like Hyde did it in that movie. Yeah, the... and Britney Spears did it. Oh, Britney Spears did yeah. it as well. Yeah, I think she was just doing it, and they caught her. <laughs> She's like, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> And I'm you, gonna wear this perfume every day. You've really helped me. No, thanks. What, about, <laughs> what kind of dog do you have then? I have a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, and I have a Chihuahua. Now, when you say a Cavalier Spaniel, do you mean, is that a character description of the Spaniel? <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's very Cavalier. Is she very kind of like? Oh. <laughs> she's I don't have time for a bone. <laughs> Really? No, she's not. She's right. just that's just her name. It's a very long name, but she's so cute. She looks like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, that's she's nice. adorable. But so she she's the lady in your little outfit then. Yes. Mm, which would make you. <laughs> <laughs> and who else? I'm sorry, I stole that from Betty White. What is the uh... <laughs> And what's the other dog? Chihuahua. A Chihuahua. Is that yeah. one that's one of them little uh... Yeah, he's little. He's yeah. cute. Do you carry him around in a little pouch? 
No, I don't. I don't. Why not? It's Australia Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy Australia oh, Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Australia Day to you. Yeah. Have you been to Australia? I have been to Australia. I love it. Have you had Tim Tams? Maybe. <laughs> chocolate biscuit from Australia? Oh, no, I have had them. Yes, a chocolate biscuit I've had. I didn't call them Tim Tams, though. They're I... called Tim Tams in Australia, and they have a campaign that if you eat Tim Tams, you don't need a boyfriend because they're orgasmic. <laughs> It's true. And you take, here, I'll tell, oh, I, I wish we had one I could show you, but. Well, I've got some kangaroos. <laughs> I got some, uh, I shouldn't hang them on the charges. I, I got the kangaroo testicles there that Carrie Fisher gave me. That's Dad, it. I can't show you how to, how to eat that like a Tim Tam, but, um. <laughs> I don't know if Are anybody's you sure? gonna watch my movie. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, you eat a Tim Tam. Yeah, so you have to, you take a little bite off of both ends, you stick it in a cup of coffee, you suck the coffee through, and then you flip it over and put it in your mouth, and it melts in your mouth. Okay, let's orgasmic. do that again, a little slower. bit slower. <laughs> take a bite off both ends, uh -huh. stick it in coffee. Yeah, this is where we slow right down, right about here. All right, suck all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that's good. What are you doing? You should this? try some, they're amazing. Well, no, I, I will, and yeah. I look forward to some Tim Tams from... <laughs> Australia. Our Australian viewer. Yes. Bruce. Bruce, send us some Tim Tams, would you? <laughs> what were you doing down in Australia? Making a film? Um, I was. I did a record down there. I was singing for a while, and oh, so really? I did a record there. Yeah. Oh, I liked it down there. What part of Australia were you? At? I was in Sydney and Melbourne. It was great. That's where I was. Loved it. Yeah, it was good. Great did, people. You didn't get to Adelaide, did you? No. Adelaide's got a very good strip club. <laughs> I'll check that out. Apparently. Next. <laughs> yeah, no. It, I, I don't normally go, but, the, you yeah. know, I was with Drew Carey. I've done pole dancing. You've done pole dancing? I've dance? done those pole dancing classes. Have you heard about those? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to these classes and you pole dance and you learn how to pole dance and it's supposed to be good for your figure. I see. That's the only stripper knowledge I have for you. <laughs> I don't it. know if I would want to dance around a pole that smelled of ass and desperation. I... <laughs> but then again... But then again, I'm, I'm in no position to throw stones here. <laughs> That's quite a thing to do. To do yeah, the, did you, were you ever tempted now. to just go rogue stripping? No. Okay. No, I was not. Well, no. if you ever are tempted, give me a shot. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll come around. And, I'll let hey, you in know. fact, look, let's get you going right now. Look, I got some dollars. Sorry. Whoa. No, that was about to happen. <laughs> why, do you, why do you have that cash? Uh, in case guests aren't being cooperative, then I go, does this refresh your memory? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's good. I'm the I huggy bear of late night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're out, we're out of time, so we are. You're again. counting out a lot of money right now. Yeah, I'm going to give you this money. Are you? Yeah, it's that's very nice. I want you the next time you're in Australia to pick me up a packet of Tim Tams. I will, and yeah. I'll, I'll bring them back to you. All right then. There you are. That's about uh, this is American dollars. This is about twelve bucks. I think that's worth about three Australian dollars. That's perfect. Yeah, right. That's enough. All right, there you go. Thank you. Jennifer, love you, everybody. Where we're at. Yes, a very funny actor <laughs> and comedian. He's in uh, Casino Jack, which is in theaters now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome John Lovitz, everybody. John Lovitz. You, John Lovitz, all dressed up and uh, are you yes. nominated for an Academy Award or something? You look very active. Yes, the nominations came out and I was nominated. Well, congratulations. Thank you. What are, they, uh, what are, you, uh, what are you up for then? Uh, uh, best Supporting Actor. Uh huh. In which movie? That one. Okay, that's good. 
that's great. Congrats. That's really good news. It's nice to well, see. Well, a, a reviewer in New York said I, I, I should be nominated. I should get an Oscar. He said I should win. Really? So, in a way, I've already won. So. Well, in that case, congratulations why? on winning the Oscar. Thank you. You will. John Lovett, Oscar winner. Yeah. 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 It's nice to see you. Obviously, this is Cleveland. So, I say good luck to Christian Bale. <laughs> Imagine if I'd been in there, he wouldn't have a chance. He wouldn't have a chance. I'd already won. Mm. <laughs> How long have you done this show? Years. Yeah. Oh. Well, thanks for having me on. Well, I, I, uh, I, I thought you were a bit too, you know... Funny? Yes. And grand, uh, to be honest. I mean, you're, you're acting with Kevin Spacey. That's proper acting. I know, and you know... I don't know if you know this, but like you know, he's won two Oscars. Right. And Which I, means one of them. And, and no, he, he's won two alone. And and I was, uh, I was. I remember my first scene with him, and uh, surprisingly, he's a very good actor. I remain mm -hmm. unconvinced. <laughs> You're not really an actor until you've had he your was third great. Oscar. But this Casino Jack, I have to say, the direct is sad, but the director, George Hickenlooper, he passed away suddenly in October. Oh, he dear. really made the movie, and it's kind of, you know, he made a, a Hearts of Darkness, Apocalypse Now, the documentary. He made a lot of great movies, so yeah. I hope people see it, because he really made a great movie, and Kevin was great. And Spencer Garrett, I have to say his name. Oh, he's a friend. He's like, Spencer I Garrett? called him Garrett Spencer last time. Spencer, Rochelle Lefebvre, Barry Pepper, he's in True Grit. Ever hear of him? What, True Grit? Craig, I heard of him. Oh, he's you know great. who's in it? Yeah. Who? Craig Kilborn. I love him! No, he's not in If it. he'd come back here, I'd be out of this dump. Yes. <laughs> you it was between you and him. No, he's not in it, but he's a great guy. Yeah, no, he's I was on his show. Yeah. And then 20 <laughs> years later, here I am again. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Do you still have your comedy club over in... Uh, in yeah, I do. It, uh, yeah, I have a, it's J John Lovett's Comedy Club at oh, yeah. Universal City Walk. We have a whole Hawaiian theme. and We got Kevin Smith there every uh, week, the director, doing his podcast there. And Adam Carolla is going to start doing a podcast. And, of course, it would be great if what, you'd, you'd make it your home. What's a podcast? It's like a radio show on the Internet. It's on iTunes. Wow, that's it's swanky. Like that. Yeah, no, CBS doesn't approve anything like that. But you, you could come to my club and practice your monologue so when you're practice here... Practice my monologue? Every what the joke hell are you works. talking about? If I started practicing, they'd expect it to be good. I don't want, I don't want to practice it. The it's not good, it's good. How long have you lived here? How dare you? For it to be good. How dare you? On this night, Burns night. Don't get your... When we celebrate Mr. Burns. Don't get your kilt up in a twist. <laughs> Sean Connery has a talk show. I was on his way before yours. <laughs> and he's Scottish. What kind of questions did Sean Connery ask you when you were on his show? <laughs> this is what Sean Connery would ask if he had a talk show. Right. Who the Crikey. are you? <laughs> That's what he said. Really, I mean, because Sean so Connery and I had the same agent uh, uh, for five minutes. Does that mean that, that you I'm get... almost as good as him? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. That's great. I saw you in Cleveland. You did a very good show. <coughs> Thank very, you. Very, very nice. I was laughing and laughing and laughing. Yeah, I've been and doing so was stand everybody else, though. That was the amazing thing. <laughs> you did a long show, though. That was, that was like two hours. You were up there. Yeah, an hour. Well, I love doing stand-up. It's like because I get to write and perform my own material like I used to on Saturday Night Live, and you know, I was like, but I don't know. People go, "What do you do?" I go, "Well, I, everything. I make fun of myself and Bob politics." Saget, you make a Bob lot Saget. Of I sing a lot of funny Bob songs Saget. about Bob Saget. Yeah. And uh, I told, I, I mentioned that to Bob last time I saw him. He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> He knows. Yeah, I know he knows, but I... I, I asked him if it was okay, and he said yes. So why he would complain I, about me singing songs that he's not gay <laughs> when I said, is it okay? But you, and who so cares if you're gay? He's not, but there's been a rumor going around there's for the last five years. <laughs> huh? See, this is, I think this is Bob's point. There, you started the rumor in order to quell the rumor. No, I started the rumor so I could sing the songs in my show. <laughs> Otherwise, it makes no sense. Well, that's exactly what I mean. Now I'm trying to kill the rumor. But, but if you hadn't started the rumor, there would... Ah, there I would see. be no song. Ah, I see where you are now. Oh, oh God. 
Lord. I know, I feel better now, though. <laughs> You're right. It was nice, that place in Cleveland. What was the name of that club? <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you spell that again? Hilarities. Hilarities. I, I like that. So club. I did that. And then, uh, you know, I, you know what psoriasis is? Yes, I do. It's a very... It's, it's a skip I complaint. have it. You don't. Yeah, but I, I had bad. But uh, anyway, if you have it, there's a website. I can't say what it is, but just type in my name and then psoriasis. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You ha seriously have psoriasis? Well, why would I say I have it if I don't? Well, you said that thing about Bob Saget, didn't you? That's you a rumor. Well, it might be a rumor you have psoriasis. No, I have it. There's nothing to brag about. <laughs> But I, but I found something that worked, but there's a funny PSA on there that I did with Jerry Zucker, directed it, and I sing a song, it's at my club. You, and you're gonna start performing at my club, I understand. That's what you said in Cleveland. Taking it back, uh, you Scottish liar! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. If you lapse into that Pakistani accent that that other fellow was doing, I'll never understand you. <laughs> I'm a Scot, I have my own show. <laughs> <laughs> That's my imitation of you. Well, I'm going to start a rumor that you're gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, lesbian. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. You've had a vasectomy? I'm going to start a rumor that you've had a vasectomy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your condom? I had a vasectomy. Oh, that it was fine. on TV. <laughs> slip. Here, do we have a clip? Slip. Yeah, you can just show a clip. <laughs> well, it would have to be a very long clip. <laughs> we gotta go. John Lovitz, everybody. We'll be right back. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> well, my Swedish friends. Yeah? Best Australia Day ever, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you celebrate Australia Day in Sweden? No. No, not much. <laughs> you know, you might want to have a go at that. Yeah. Yeah. For you, the Australian population of Sweden, is there a lot of Australians in Sweden? No. No. <laughs> what about Swedes in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. There's lots. Well, there you are then. <laughs> We come full circle. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Milking a celebrity goat was more fun than this, wouldn't it? No. Yeah, yeah it was. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know that thing you're doing where you're touring around doing your favorite things on your bucket list? Mm -hmm. Can I come? No. no. <laughs> All right, then I'll be back tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night.